Okay guys, we just got to the airport and we have found some scales to weigh our bags because we have no idea if they're gonna be the right weight or not. So Cal's bag needs to be under 10 kilos. That's pretty good. This needs to be two. Cal's combined bags needed to be 12 and combined they are, no wait, combined they're 12, they needed to be 10, right? Yeah. Let's weigh mine. Oh, nice. That is way better than I expected. I thought yeah. it was going to be over 10. It needs to be less than 25. Perfect. Pretty good. I definitely thought it was going to be over. Awesome. Guys, I had a mental breakdown because I hate flying so much. But we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Woo! We got this. What an angle for me. <laughs> We have made it to the Singapore airport. We got off the plane. I took myself to the bathroom. I was like, I'm gonna brush my teeth, wash my face, feel like a brand new bitch, even though it's literally 3.20 a.m. I'm washing my face and I get a blood nose. Like, are you kidding me? I am wearing an all white outfit and I have not had a blood nose in so long. But apparently today was the day. Anyway, our next flight's not until five past six so we have actually don't know how long that is like two hours ish but our flight here was so good we watched a movie i did some editing and then we both were like half awake half asleep for like four and a half hours so we still feel dead like this is cal right now but at least we got a little bit of rest i actually cannot take myself seriously like if we get some blood nose in 2024 at the airport like bitch what Guys, we have made it to Hong Kong. I'm so excited to be here. Guys, look how cute the priority seats are. We are slowly but surely finding our way to our hotel. Just two girls trying to use the MRT with like four hours. I think it's MTR. <laughs> this is crazy guys. It feels like I'm in New York all over again. <laughs> Do you agree? Yeah, it's very busy vibes. Guys, we have made it to our hotel. It is 10 to 2. How is it only 10 to 2? Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. But we've made it. We've checked in. We have our room. Now we are going to go and get some food because we haven't really had a proper meal since lunchtime yesterday. I mean, like, we've had a bunch of snacks. We also just haven't properly slept in ages either. But I think we're going to go get some food, come back, try and stay up until like 8 p.m. And then tomorrow we'll start our actual Hong Kong adventure. We always planned for this day to just be a chill day because we both knew that we would be like this. As soon as we checked in, we just jumped on the bed. Hello. And we're like, we'll just lay down for a little bit before we get food. But now we're at the point where we're like, okay, we're starving. And if we keep laying here, we're just gonna go to sleep. And then jet lag, jet lag? Jet lag is gonna win. And we can't let her win. We can't let her win. My first impressions of Hong Kong are that it feels like New York. As soon as we came out of the train station and stepped out into the streets, I was like, damn, I feel like I'm in Times Square or just a really busy street in New York. It just gives off that same energy. Everyone's moving fast. There's people everywhere, colors everywhere, shops, cars. That's the energy and vibe that I get. I f love it but it's also a lot for when you're this delusionally tired like i was dragging my suitcase being like where am i who am i <laughs> like what is going on but i'm so excited to explore over the next few days i think this is going to be a city that i absolutely love but let's go get some food and let's not fall asleep at 2 p.m it's giving when like jen sings to her daughter <laughs> what did you learn at school <laughs> i used to think she was the one <laughs>
Kendall Street night market. One, because we obviously want to check it out, and two, to try and make us stay awake. Stay awake. <laughs> stay awake. <laughs> It is our first official day in Hong Kong. Ooh. We slept for 11, wait, 11? I think 12 hours. Yeah, like 12 like hours. 8 to 8. Yeah, 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. we feel so much better, but it's our first official day. It's a little cloudy. It was raining this morning, but it's not raining now. So our plan is to head to Central. We're gonna get some breakfast and then just spend the day exploring that area. We didn't want today to be too jam-packed. Just chill. So that is the plan. The escalators are so fast, like, I'm scared every single time. <laughs> breakfast that we just had was so good. I feel like a brand new bitch after eating that. So now we are heading over to Hong Kong Park to explore it. Oh my god, wait, we just got here. Lol, me thinking we had to walk a bit further. Hey. Guys, there's turtles. Hello, little friend. They're so cute! Holy sh there's so many more on this side. Guys, this is insane. I've never seen this many turtles all at once in one spot. Why am I scared right now? Hello? Cal is staring right at me. The eye contact we have right now <laughs> is hectic. doing what he has to do to get the shot. Honestly, iconic, just standing in the middle of the road. It's just what I said to them. <laughs> Honestly, it's life. Stylish. Guys, we've come to the Li Yuan Street Markets and we've come into this little store and there is so much cool clothes in here. Like, look at these jackets. They're not exactly it, but they're still so cool. This one is sick. It is so cool. I wish it was like a navy blue or a green because red yeah, is not really my navy, color. Like a little bit too small as well. Yeah, but the vibes are cool. They even have this kind of thing as well. We're also upstairs. We were in the downstairs bit and the lady was like, go upstairs, there's men's stuff up there and there's no one else up here. <laughs> Except for us, I feel like we've been banished, but at the same time, we're finding all the good stuff. If this was oversized, it would be so sick. <laughs> Guys, look what Cal just found. Shut the f up, this is so cool. The lehe. Okay guys, we are back at the hotel now. I think it's around 4.30. I'm just touching up my makeup. We are about to go out and get some food. We had a late breakfast. I think when we ate, it was around 10.30. So we didn't have lunch. We were like, maybe we can hold out till dinner, but now we are absolutely starving. We bought these noodles from 7-Eleven. And then we got back here and realized we didn't have any cutlery. We only have two spoons. We don't have any chopstick or fork. So we were like, you know what? Let's just go out for dinner now. So that is the plan. But we have had such a good day. We just honestly walked around Central. I mean, you guys came along. You saw what we did. But Hong Kong is such a cool place. There's just so much going on. There's people everywhere. I love a big city. So I feel like I am thriving here. I mean, my stomach is kind of struggling. <laughs> but mentally, I am having such a good time. But let's go and get some food. I think we're also going to go back to the market that we went to last night. When we went, it wasn't dark and we honestly just went to keep ourselves awake. So we were kind of delusional and I don't even really remember what I saw or what was going on. So we're gonna go there again tonight and see what the vibe is. These look so good, yum! Guys, we got ice cream, I'm so happy. Good morning guys, 
it is Monday morning, our second day in Hong Kong. Today is a very exciting day because we are going to Disneyland. I love Disney, especially Disneyland. I saved up to go to Disneyland in America for my 21st birthday and I don't know, I just have a very sentimental, I guess, kind of, I don't want to say attachment to Disney, relationship, sentimental relationship with Disney. I hope that makes sense. So I'm very excited. I have just finished getting ready. Well, I need to like brush out my curls because they're kind of crazy and I'm going to put on some red lipstick. This might be a little bit dramatic, but I'm just gonna go for it. It is just after 9.30. The park opens at 10.30, so we're gonna leave pretty soon. I think it'll take, from what we were researching last night, about an hour to get there. Also, guys, we really underestimated how cold it was gonna be here. I swear we looked up the weather before we were packing, and it said it was going to be a lot warmer than what it is. I think today it's gonna be 18 degrees, but raining. I guess that's not super cold, but yesterday we were like, damn, we should have packed a little bit more warmer clothes, but it's gonna be so hot, especially Especially when we're in Taiwan. I think when we fly in, it's around 25 degrees, but that's definitely something that shocked us. We were like, damn, we probably should have packed an extra jumper or an extra set of pants or something, but it's totally fine. This was the first time I've put my extensions in and tried to curl them since cutting my hair shorter. I really didn't think it was gonna work, but here we are. I do need to fix a couple of little bits, but I'm so happy this worked out. When I was curling it this morning, I was like, have I gotten up half an hour earlier to completely waste my time? But I think it's good. Also guys, I have my Disney ears that I got when I went to Disneyland for my 21st birthday. I wear these at every Disney park I go to. I love them so much. They're so cute. I love how I'm putting them on now, but I'm definitely not gonna wear these on the train. <laughs> but let's finish grabbing up some stuff and go. We're gonna grab some coffee and breakfast on the way as well because we are starving. <laughs> Okay guys, we have made it inside look at the castle. It's so pretty. But as soon as we walked in, they said that the parade was gonna happen in 15 minutes. So we found a spot literally in front of the castle and we're gonna watch the parade and then we're gonna head in and do some of the rides. This little baby. <laughs> some of the kids are so cute. Like I can't handle it. The wait for Hyperspace Mountain is only 30 minutes, so we're going to go and ride that first. I have ridden Space Mountain so many times, even so many times drunk. Why am I so scared to go on a ride now? I haven't been on a ride in so long, but I'm really excited. We got this. Reminder for all pilots, these missions can feel like a high-speed roller coaster type ride in the dark. With sharp turns, sudden drops, it stops. Oh my god, it was so good. I was so into it looking at the screen because then you have these 3D glasses as well And then all of a sudden I was like, I think I'm going to a vomit, but it was still so good But now it's like quarter to three. So we're gonna grab some food I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna get, but we'll figure it out Look who it is <laughs> Guys, oh my god, look at all of this this is so much more than I was expecting. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Thanks, Kels. Guys, this is 
so good. I didn't realize how hungry I was until I took the lid off this and smelled this. <laughs> Turns out I was starving. This is so good. It's really gonna bring me back to life. It's 20 past three right now. The park closes at nine, so we still have like five and a half hours. Some of the wait times have gone up to over an hour, so. Let's eat this food, get some energy, and then try and smash out a few more rides. Literally, before he saw the girl with it, we were like, we could go on ice cream. Then he spots that and we're like, shut the f up, we need it. We need it. So, wish us luck. We're gonna try and find where she got it from. I think she was like 25. <laughs> oh, really? I thought she was like five. <laughs> this is it. Thank you. They're so cute. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh my god, I don't feel great. How do you feel? <laughs> we are racing to have the Space Mountain because it was down before, and now that it's back up, the wait time is only 25 minutes. I'm so excited! I didn't vlog yesterday. We ended up just having a super chill work day. So I was basically just sitting at the desk in here all day. We did go out for dinner to this tea house in Hong Kong Park, which was so cute. And then we walked along, I don't know what's going on with my contour right now, the Avenue of Stars along Victoria Harbor as well. But it was a very chill day. But today we have so much that we're going to try and get done. It's currently 10 past eight. The plan is to leave at 8.30, so I'm kind of just like rushing through trying to get ready but the plan for today is to first head to Stanley Market and then after Stanley Market we're going to head in the complete opposite direction to north of Hong Kong there's a couple of temples that we want to go to this food place that we want to go to and then we're going to come back here to where we're staying because we have a cooking class tonight which I am so excited about from what I remember they're going to be teaching us how to make dumplings which I think 
is so much fun. But that is the plan for today. Today is our second last day. We fly to Taiwan tomorrow night, but not until 8 p.m. So we still kind of have two days or like one and a bit. Time is flying by so fast. It always does when you travel, but it is so crazy. But I'm going to rush through this makeup and then let's go. We just got to Stanley Market. It's only 10.35. It opens at 10, so it's still pretty quiet at the moment, which is so nice. Because <laughs> we're just walking around and there's literally no one around. But we're going to check out some of the little stalls here. Let's go! That is so iconic. I don't need it. But at the same time, I feel like it's so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, look at this. <laughs> what is it? Is it a cactus? Yeah, it's Christmas cactus. So random. Okay guys, we have made it to Mong Kok. We are now going to go and get some food. I'm not gonna lie, I am so sleepy. But we got this. I think after some food, I'm gonna feel a lot better. These look so good. Guys, I just sculled a matcha and I feel like it's bringing me back to life. I don't know if I told you, but I only got about four hours sleep last night and all day today I have just been a zombie. But we've just come to Wong Tai Sin to go into the temple here. So let's go explore it. It is 20 past three and it closes at 4.30. So we do need to hurry up. Everybody make a wish. <laughs> so cute. Got it. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This is beautiful. Look at this turtle. Wow, it is so beautiful in here. I'm so glad that we came here. Wow, look at all this detail. This is so cool. Look how many fish there are. They're going crazy. I wonder what the drama is. I want another tea. Okay, guys, we are back at the hotel. Oh my gosh, Kel and I <laughs> are so exhausted. We were saying before, we feel like we have caught so much public transport today, but today was such a good day. I really loved going to that temple. It was just absolutely beautiful, but we do have the cooking class tonight. It's in an hour, but the meeting spot is pretty close. So we've just come back to the hotel, honestly, to chill for a second because <laughs> we've just been go, go, go all day. I also need to top up my octopus card which is like the public transport card here because I have a dollar 20 left which is not gonna get me very far well you know what's crazy here you can pay for stuff using the octopus card like we went to the market the Stanley market and I found this jacket and I didn't have the exact amount in cash because the store wanted to take cash but the lady let me pay half cash half on my octopus cup. Isn't that crazy? Melbourne could literally never. Like <laughs> literally never. Oh my gosh, let me show you the jacket I got. It's so cute. I don't know if it's going to show well on camera, but it's this little spray jacket. I feel like this is going to be perfect for Taiwan because last night when I couldn't sleep, I was overthinking like usual and I was like, I did not bring any spray kind of jackets and we're doing a lot of nature outdoorsy stuff and it's going to rain and I was kind of stressing out. So I feel like the universe really pulled through and was like, here is the perfect jacket for like $15 Australian or something. I'm so happy and I will wear that so much when we're back as well because I'm really trying to be intentional with my purchases. So you guys know this, I've spoken about it before. But I'm gonna fill out my octopus card, maybe lay down for like 10 minutes, and then we will go to this cooking class together. All right, guys, let's go to this cooking class. So we met our teacher, and she took us to one of the night markets. It was so cool. She basically gave us a tour of the market and showed us a bunch of different fruits and vegetables, what they were, what they were used for in dishes over there. It was really informative and such a cool experience. But now we are at the cooking class, and we are making the dumpling dough. Basically, for the dumpling 
things that we were making that night. We were going to make five from scratch, or ten from scratch between Cal and I, and ten just with store-bought dough. But this is us prepping the dough that we're making from scratch. And then after we did that, we started prepping all of our vegetables. Cal and I are vegetarian, so we were making veggie dumplings. Lol at me trying to cut this corn like what the f This was not my life calling. I felt so awkward. <laughs> Why am I not killing this? But once the vegetables were cooked, we started prepping the dough that we made to make the dumplings. So we had to split the dough into five balls that weighed approximately 17 grams. Getting them to weigh 17 grams each was a lot harder than I thought. Like, why did it take me so many times? Every time I weighed one, it would be like 12, 14, 25. But once that was done, we rolled them out into a circle and then cut them out using this shape. And once we had done that, we were able to start putting all of the filling inside of them. I'm not gonna lie, the dough that we didn't make was definitely easier to work with. Every time I picked up my own dough, I was like, oof, I feel like I'm gonna rip this, especially because I have fake nails. But our teacher taught us how to fold them into two dumpling shapes. I honestly can't remember the names of either of them, but this one looked like tortellini to me. It was so cute. And then once once we had made all of them, we cooked them in this pot. I was so scared that ours were going to fall apart as we were cooking them. But honestly, for the most part, they were fine. They look so good. Mm. <laughs> all right, it's a really good day. It's good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna try one. Here we go. It's really good. Oh my gosh, look at this little picture. So cute. This is so sweet. I got a lot of chili on this. <laughs> All of mine are falling apart. But you know what? I tried my best. Okay, guys, it is our official last day in Hong Kong. We fly to Taiwan tonight. We have just checked out of our hotel, grabbed some quick breakfast, and now we are heading to go on the peak tram. We have wanted to do this all week, but the weather hasn't been very good. Basically, it takes you to the top of Victoria Peak, and there's meant to be this really nice view of the city, but the weather here has been so cloudy every single day, so we haven't done it, but since it's our last day, we're like, we're just gonna have to go. And it looks like the sun is trying to come out, so fingers crossed we get a good view. Also, the lighting right now making me look so blue. Crazy. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Okay guys, we made it to the top on the peak train. The view the whole way down was just pure cloud and I have looked up so many reviews of the peak train and it's like, sit on the right, you'll have this beautiful view. But it was still really cool to go on it. So I'm like out of breath walking up this hill right now. But now we are walking up to the top of Victoria Peak. So it's about a 20 to 25 minute walk from the peak tram stop. Oh my God, guys, I'm so out of breath. I'm so out of breath right now. But I can see some blue sky coming out from the clouds so hopefully hopefully we will have a good view and if not we tried our best it's not our fault it's winter it literally is we booked this trip <laughs> Some. It's fine, at least we got to see a little bit of the view. It was actually kind of cool to see all the cloud up there. It's fine, but now we're about to catch the peak tram back down because it is quarter past 12 and we need to head to the airport at two and we still have to go pick up our bags from the accommodation. But we just walked out of the viewing place that we were at and I saw this bubble waffle place and I was like, you know what will cheer me up right now? A bubble waffle. I have never had one before. I have no idea what it's gonna taste like, but this is what's gonna cheer me up after not seeing the view. <laughs> I think I'll try this flavor. Cal went to order and she was like, we don't have any, but we found another place, so it's okay. So this is an egg at with vanilla ice cream. I feel like I need to like. <laughs> it's on your nose. <laughs> is it good? It smells good too. <laughs> and then you need to get some ice cream because it's just whipped cream on top. Oh no. <laughs> it already tastes so good. Get in there. Yes. Yum. 